know what? I'm gonna I, I meant to fix my hair before I came on. I didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna fix it right here. This is real life, kids. This is real life behind the scenes, real life. Uh, first thing in the morning, I, I wash my face, brush my teeth. I have not made coffee yet. It's supposed to be the hottest day of the week here in Los Angeles. Then totally cool down tomorrow, so I'm very excited. Uh, I'm James Hutchinson. If you know who I am, it's just says right there on the side there. Uh, I'm in. A, I feel like I'm in a new season. I'm coming into a new season. Um, this first half of the year. <laughs> oh, ugh, yeesh! You can you can watch those episodes. Yeah. Um. But I feel like now I'm coming into a newer season. You know, I'm always reinventing and inventing myself, both. I'm always, like, trying to start new things or change things up um, because I do so many different things. And it's been – and but the strike's happening. The WGA strike just ended, so we still have the SAG after. But that forced me into kind of a different – because I'm living here in L.A., different mindset. My uh, people who are sick are doing better. I'm still involved, but they're doing better. Um, so I have a little more time myself. I actually took a mini vacation. It was too short. Um, but, um, I had to help somebody and you know, I just, it just, whatever it is. It, but I was able to leave LA. I had not LA in a while. That was mentally, I needed that. I started kind of a new, couple of new shows. Uh, and also I've been looking back. So I mean, I've been looking at my, so there's all, all kinds of stuff's happening. So I just feel like I'm in a new season. I lost weight. I'm so far about 15 pounds less than I was two months ago. And that's, I, I feel differently about that. I feel differently. Um, I'm really, I feel like I'm in a new, a new stage. Um, I am stressed out all the time. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the ledge. Um, but that's, I'll, I'll figure out managing all that. Um, but there's some great, in the middle of all that, there's some great stuff. And, you know, I, I was looking at, I st well, first of all, I started this new series of shows, uh, JLJ this evening and JLJ After Dark, on a whim. I, I was thinking about one night going, be kind of funny. I mean, the jokes always have made JLJ After Dark, blah blah blah. But I I have created these shows. I've done maybe a handful of episodes of each, and they've been eye opening. They've been so much fun. It's a whole different vibe at nighttime and also at late night. And I'll, I don't have to rely on famous people or famous guests. It's like people come on, I get a nice little crowd at night and there's a whole world of insomniacs and who work late at night now and stuff. Um, but I've been having get my guests have been my friends, have come on and joined me. And last night I was on, I was on last night for three hours and 48 minutes. Did not even seem like it. Didn't even know I did. But the other day I was on for two hours. The other day I was on for two hours. Later. And then people are actually watching and listening to it. Thank you. Afterwards. Comments, I'm, you know, it was just, that was so much fun. It was so funny. Uh, I put it on in the background. And I was like, okay, because my morning show I do, GFG This Morning, which is very popular, um, I do about two hours of that one. People are like, no, we put it on in the background. It sometimes helps me sleep or I'm doing work or cleaning the house. So I listen to you. And that's what I used to do with certain people. So it's kind of cool that I, again, kind of retro going backwards. Um, is reminding people of that time period. And I said all the time, put on people. People put on podcasts and stuff and they kind of walk around, do stuff. So I, I'm finding, because I'm like, I'm looking at the numbers. And you guys are amazing. The numbers are really good. I'm like, I'm doing a. Th I have I have colleagues who can't get people to watch a 15 minute video, and I'm doing three hour four hour videos. People are watching them, um, or listening to them. It's 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 actually amazing. Oh, and speaking of my nail polish, um, the other night I had somebody and that was that's somebody who's I get I don't know if they're a fan of mine anyway, but they they pop up every once in a while in my chats, um, live chats and otherwise. I I recognize the handle. But I wouldn't say I don't. I don't think they're huge fans of mine. I don't. I don't. Whatever. I don't. I don't think. I don't think they feel about me. But they came on and saw my nails, and it's a guy, and basically said, "I'm old school. Like this was too much," and then left. I'm out. Says I'm out, and then they heard from them again on the chat, 
And that that was very sweet to me because I mean, I, yeah, I've been painting my nails. Okay, who cares? I grew my hair out long. Okay, I'm not trying. It's actually nothing. I'm not trying to make any statements. I'm not trying. I'm not. I'm. I feel like I'm a man. I'm whatever you know. But what that means to me, I don't have any. Like I'm just doing something different to switch things up a little bit because it's life. Painting my nails doesn't change anything about my life. It's just I'm painting my nails. A lot of men paint their nails. A lot of a lot of rock stars and artists have been painting their nails for years. Usually, these these stars used to be black. They paint was black. Um, it's. I'm an entertainer. I I just I I change my looks. Uh, sometimes I shave off my goatee. Sometimes I leave it up. I, my hair is gray. I don't change it. Like I've dyed my hair. It just it's all just it's all it's all for stuff. It's all outside trimmings. I don't I don't rely on my fingers for success. They're just there. They're functional and and no one. I mean, God, no one in L.A. I get like compliments actually on it from guys that like it. I mean, the, the, the young kids are doing it. Nobody even cares. Like nobody, I mean, nobody was my hand, nobody was my hands. That took me off guard a little bit. I was like, wow, there are people out there who are so closed-minded. And it's like, it's, it's different. It's different when I understand you saying for me, I just would I would because for years for me, I wouldn't be on nails either for years. Like, that's just not me. I don't have any tattoos. You know, a lot of folks who are like, I would never get a tattoo. That stuff I get. That stuff I'm like, oh, that's that's pretty standard, you know, stuff. I get that. Um that's that's just preface for your body. But I mean, some of the stuff is like, oh, okay, that's what that's what we're doing. Um, but I just thought that's very interesting. And people sometimes people just are like, no, it's too much for them. Um, and I'm like, I'm fully who I am all the time. I mean, I'm whoever I am at any given time. That's all, and and I thought all kinds of subjects. And that's the thing too. I, I'm enjoying um, between these shows. They ran the top like last time we had to talk about music. Then we got to then we got to a specific talk about angelic voices they can just talk about the jacks that like we had talks about we we went deep down and dived down and the chat was involved and my co-hosts were involved and it was such a and i think it's what contributed to the far but the whole thing which i say for me is that it i have a new lease on life because i know that i was like i'm trying to find ways to stay engaged and something new and different um and i've really fallen to the space of the fans and the fans tell me what they want a lot of times they go okay well you should do this you should do that i write i write it down i have these things i write little cards i write it down and then i just and then i think about it and then maybe i think i'll try this or i'll try that and see what happens and you guys dictate kind of what you show up you show up and it dictates kind of what i do and it's been very interesting thing is I I there's I there's some shows I've cut other shows I haven't and one of my other shows I do uh, the one I like to live after show attracted somebody big um uh, wants to be on my show I do it and so far it's audio only I do it when I feel like doing it and but they're enjoying my nostalgia trip so I don't know it's just, I've just it's been just I'm feeling um pretty good professionally i'm also doing organizing again a little more organizing again um that keeps my dexterity up and you just i just love seeing the faces of people when they're so happy after i clear a space for them or make something make or help them with something oh I, actually i gotta call somebody actually after this and book for next week uh, it's, just, it's wonderful it's a wonderful feeling um as i'm in my mid-50s i'm just like this is i'm actually i'm doing stuff i want to be doing i just uploaded a book that's coming out hopefully end of the week or beginning next week um i have an ep out right now with somebody that i'll produce and write and that's out now and i worked on a new song last night i actually completed a new song last night uh here on my on my little computer and so it's, it's been i'm feeling creative again i'm feeling like there's i'm trying some new stuff and it's working and also i'm looking back i you know i i my brother and i i've been going to record stores here in LA, like Amoeba, CD Trader, and finding old music. And I have, so for me, I have everything, right? So I have, I have my, I have CD players, I have CD, I have, um, what do you call it, uh, Discman, I have Walkman, I have tape players, boom boxes, DVD, laser discs, I have all, I have everything. I keep all, and it all works, all this stuff works. So I literally can buy, whatever format and i've been reading about cassettes 
making a comeback finally kind of weird um vinyls always selling and then cds are making a comeback too um because there's because not everything is out there um not everybody there are some people who don't just want the hits uh, there are folks who enjoyed full albums and album tracks and rare tracks and B-sides, and they're not always on Spotify or Apple Music or wherever you find or Pandora. They're literally just out of print. They're not, they're not, or they're, or they're just, they're just out there in the world. Um, and so I've been trying to, for years, I've been doing the, I've been collecting Prince stuff and Office Proteges and anybody's written songs for I was like, so I'm going, th I'm going in my other bedroom and trying to pull out all my records and tapes and cassette singles and everything and gather in one place all my Prince and Prince related stuff and see what I have. So when I go out there to look for stuff, I know what I need. And uh, so far it's been good. I've only bought one duplicate of something, but the album is so rare that I, I'll have two of them. It's fine. I like the album. Um, but I have. I, I've been fine. I was going through all oh, yesterday. It's been fun going through time and seeing because I was doing it back in the day. Thank God I was buying stuff back in the day because I have it. Uh, some of like I said, some stuff's out of print or now super expensive since Prince has passed. So, but I just ordered some stuff last night, really cheap. I found on eBay. That's I just they just told me it's on its way, coming on the 29th. Love it. Um, so that's fine. A couple things coming. I mean, really inexpensive. <laughs> But luckily, this is I have all formats. So I just buy it, have it, and then we can well assess it. And I have adapters. So I buy. I have a, I have a cassette adapter. I mean, so I can buy get it to a computer. So I first, just gather everything and just really look at all the stuff. It's just it's it's been great. Um, since the Prince of State is kind of slowly taking his time releasing stuff, they have a new thing coming out, of course, uh, with the Diamonds and Pearls in October. Uh, but also, I've been reading all this. I've been reading all these books on him and his writing process and the song process, and that's fascinating too. But this is it's inspiring me. But anyway, just going back in time, and I'm finding a few things back in time, which on my Patreon I share, patreoncom slash James I always share all that stuff on there um with my patrons but it's it's gonna be it's it's been i feel like i'm in a new a new era coming up and i i'm hoping it's a good one it's gonna be good um but it's, it's kind of exciting i but it's keeping me busy i mean i'm seriously between family and that i'm tapped out for most time but i've been really doing my best to um find time for friends find time for certain people. I've been really doing that. It's very important, not just because, but it's important to me. I mean, I need, I personally need breathers. Uh, I just can't, I can't all work just, I don't want to be, I don't want to be just a workaholic, all work all the time. Um, so I don't want to do that. But hopefully you guys can catch me on one of my lives. Catch me on one of my, and I also want to thank you guys. Last week, this show was a top 10 show. It's never a top 10 show on audio. Never, never, never is. But for some reason, you guys were listening last week. So all the listeners who are listening to this, thank you. And that's why I offer these shows, audio and video. I took the Afterbus TV model. I used to work there. And you know what? But it's really good because some folks can't sit down and have time to watch something. Um, and this thing can be better. So I will always um, offer both for most things. Some things are one or the other. So... We'll work that out. Um, that's all. This is this is actually a positive post. I mean, I smile post has been a little sad, but I'm hanging in there, folks. I really am. Um, I'm trying. It's not easy, but I'm trying. Uh, 50 plus is everywhere. I'm James Lott Jr., and I'll talk to you next time.